Today I'm going to start activating some charcoal, turn it into biochar by putting it in the compost tumblers. This is a Jora a JK270 compost tumblers. They're about a fourth or a third full of compost right now. And by the time they're filled and uh, completely composted, this uh, charcoal will have been composted into uh, biochar. This uh, Royal Oak lump uh, charcoal that I purchased I ran through the shredder to pulverize it and you can see that it's a very fine uh, pulverized charcoal. So I'm going to add this now to the uh, tumblers and uh, start its uh, activating into charcoal. So I'll put this camera on a tripod and then I'll add the uh, biochar and record the process. Okay now we'll start adding the uh, charcoal and we'll see how this uh, works out. This biochar has a couple advantages. Uh, in addition to being activated by putting it in the compost tumbler, it also uh, provides a lot of carbon to the uh, microbes that's in the uh, tumbler, and it retains moisture. And uh, so the compost will stay moist enough to uh, uh, fully compost. Making biochar this way is very cost effective because uh, if you buy biochar from a company that sells it as, as biochar, which is just basically charcoal that you have to activate, it will cost you around $50 a cubic foot. A bag of this Royal Oak Lump Charcoal will cost you around $15, 15 or $16. That's a lot better than $50, and it's an equal amount of uh, charcoal once, once you shred it. Shredding it is the most difficult part. I use my uh, wood chipper to do that. Alrighty, I think that'll be enough charcoal in there. And as you can see, the charcoal is very dusty, but it'll soon get moistened with this compost, and it won't be dusty. Turning the compost tumbler fully mixes that and uh, we'll look inside real quick and see what it looks like. The charcoal is uh, fully mixed with uh, the little bit of compost that's in here. As I said, these two sections are only about a fourth or a third filled, so it has a lot more to go. And uh, tomorrow I'll pick up some uh, food scraps from a uh, uh, juice bar and put in here and that'll finish these uh, composters. They'll be totally full and then in about a month they'll be into uh, full compost that can go in the garden bed. So this is going to start the activation of the biochar.